Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a brand new video. So hope you guys are having an amazing day. Guys, back again with a tech video for you guys. So guys, in this short video, I'll be showing you how to fix your Android Auto not working with your smartphone. So the car I'm right now in is the GMC Yukon 2016, which comes with GM Intel Link system, which is common for like Chevy Tahoe, Suburbans and so many other cars. So the problem I was suffering with was uh, for like the first two years, I was unable to connect my Android smartphone with the GM Intel Link system using Android Auto. I tried all the tutorials from YouTube so many other things but nothing was working the trick that ended up working for me was a very simple one the thing i ended up doing was i ended up going to the apps of my smartphone from there i searched like android auto and from there i uninstalled all of the updates after like uninstalling all the updates the system the android auto was back in its factory version after like waiting for half an hour the play store itself updated android auto again and from that day on i had no problems using like my smartphone my android smartphone with the GM Intel link system so this was the way I fixed this problem but I would like to share another two tips which are hopefully going to be helpful for you also the second tip I want to talk about is to make sure that the cable you're using is original and it doesn't have any cracks because some time ago I was using this cable uh, which was uh, a torn apart which had many cracks and because of which my Android Auto was uh, disconnecting again and again and I was unable to pair a new device so make sure you the cable you're using is in good condition the third thing I want to talk about or the third tip I would like to suggest to you is to make sure that your um, system or your navigation system is updated to the latest version. I mean this is going to be something which uh, your dealer has to do and hopefully they are going to do this for free. If you're having problems with your system all you have to do is just go to your nearest dealer and tell them that if there's an update they could update the system or just to reset it. But before trying that I will recommend you to try with another, uh, with another Android smartphone because sometime your smartphone can be a culprit and it would be causing all of this issue. So before you go to your dealer, make sure you try with another Android smartphone and see if it's working or not. If it's working fine with uh, like another smartphone, then maybe your smartphone has some kind of glitch or something like that. But if it's having the same symptoms with like other smartphone, then you can definitely go ahead into your dealer and tell them about the problem. So hopefully this video is going to be helpful for you, you guys. If it's going to be helpful, make sure to give it a like. And if you're new, consider subscribing and become a part of this channel. And thanks for watching and goodbye.